Hello, David Zeritsky for The Bond Experience. About 10, 11 months ago, we received in a really neat thing from Barry Eldridge and Factory Entertainment. And it was the prototype of the breather set that they've come out with, which unfortunately may be one of the last Bond sets that Factory Entertainment comes out with. Not because they don't want to, but um, Eon's interest has waned a little bit, unfortunately, because we're in this hiatus between films. Hopefully that we awake weekends, but we the fans can do that. Anyway, the prototype was great. You can watch the video on the Bond experience. Um, we talked about the uh, <laughs> the pieces themselves were amazing, and they were actually um, fabricated, generated, designed by people on the AJB fans, if you will, Peter and Jeff, I guess. Um, and I just kind of went on and on about it. Now today, all these months later, we have the final piece in, and we're actually one of the first people to get it. And we are not playing for the camera. I am going to be opening this for the first time. I have not seen what it looks like, um, but because I saw the prototype, I can kind of tell you what the final outcome looks like. But more importantly, you can see what it looks like. So, nice bit of packing. You can uh, kind of see the top in here. So let's start taking the many pieces of... It's like Christmas! Styrofoam out, and the piece hopefully should come out pretty easily. It does. By the way, how's this for shipping? You don't normally see this on the outside of a box. James Bond Thunderball, Die Another Day, Rebreather Set, Limited Edition, Artist Proof. What, what? Ooh, ooh. Let's see. Okay. So we've got the usual uh, silver pieces, and my razor blade is falling apart. This is like live TV, folks. <laughs> I'm just going to draw blood, and then you'll know it's real. All right, so lots of pieces of tape holding this. I told you I was doing this like you were right here opening it with me. So on the side, it says authentic one-to-one -one scale movie prop replica set, underwater breathers from Thunderbolt and Die Another Day, and it's got a nice little representation of that. Okay, so first thing we have is uh, the usual, but uh, nice little plaque that we'll put on here. Oh, this is nice. I haven't seen this before. They have a cloth. I guess that's to clean maybe fingerprints off or it's for the case itself. And it says Artist Proof AP-20. Breathers from Thunderbolt and Die Another Day. I always like the little, the little touches. So let's see what we have. Let's see if I can do the... Whoa! Okay, let's see. There is a box. It's small, so this may actually be the breathers themselves. So I will put that here. All right, we can open this up together. Here we go. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, very nice. Let's see. Just looks nice like that. Maybe I should just leave it in there. All right, so here's the Die Another Day one. Um, you can see a lot of the details. So far, looks beautiful. Um, you can see the blue little valve in there. What's nice is you can also see the little kind of uh, dimples. They're not really dimples. They, they, they look like nubs kind of on the mouthpiece themselves. Looks very cool. Something on the mouthpiece. It says Yylon, Yylon 3. Not too sure what that is. Maybe that's the maker. But, uh, oh, look at, the, look at the ends there. Okay. So this was this stuff was on the prototype. So that that piece looks really really nice. Um, and here is the other piece. And this is the Thunderbolt one. So far so good. Uh, paint looks perfect, quite frankly. Um, details look really really nice. I am not seeing any flaws whatsoever. I'm looking for potentially fingerprints or things like that and I don't see it. I mean they look really nice and I, I have to say they look as nice as the prototypes. Now I will tell you, as many on AJV will tell you, I am the clothing lifestyle guy. I'm not necessarily the prop guy but to me these props look really really nice. I'd be uh, curious about people's reviews who are kind of prop aficionados and experts. Obviously Jeff and Pete, when they get theirs, I want to hear what they thought. Here is the uh, display case. Ah, I love the prototype one of these. 
because it was like tall, where some of the other factory entertainment ones weren't very tall. Ooh, it is tall. Oh, that's a neat little touch. Look at the bottom of it. This is factory entertainment. I don't remember that on the other pieces. I like that. I actually think that's a really nice touch. Um, so, my case is in perfect shape. I always look to these because they're so fragile. But this was really well packed. There's no little splinters or anything like that. Let's let's see how these look. So I probably should know how this goes, but let's say it goes like that. And I'm not going to put the plaque on right now, but I, I do want you to get the whole effect. Nice little rubber nubs on the bottom, by the way. Oh, oh, and there it is. There it is. What a beautiful museum quality like piece. Um, love the display, love the plaque, can't wait to put it all together. I'm super happy. I mean, I'm really happy. I saw the prototypes. Um, I saw this come to fruition. Um, it looks dead on. I'm, I'm really happy. I, I'm a huge fan, though, of Factor Entertainment, so it's tough. I'm probably a little jaded, but from what I saw the prototypes to this, um, I don't see any discernible difference whatsoever. So hopefully for those that ordered, um, you get yours in and you're happy with it as much as I am, happy with these. And then I think there were also a couple that people had canceled, so there may be some available for a limited amount of time. And if this is truly the last Factory Entertainment Bond piece, this is an investment piece. So anyway, this has been David Zaritsky. This was fun opening up in front of you, and I will talk to you soon. Take care.